Hello everyone, welcome to Off The Charts, episode 40. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 40. My name is Dan, I'm still Dan here, I just shaved off my beard. Uh, I guess you could call it the equivalent to a spring cleaning. Don't worry, if you don't recognize me, I will grow it back. I just do this once a year. So, um, anyway, that's my story for why I have no beard right now. If you're looking at me, you're like, who is this guy? So... First things first, cheers everyone. There you go. One person was asking in the comments, what am I drinking, whiskey? No, it's actually Grand Marnier. Uh, I've done been doing this for since January, which is like five months. I've been, I've drank a lot of Grand Marnier since, uh, <laughs> since that time there. But uh, actually, it was started off as a joke, and it ended up being uh, a stay put in my episodes here. So um, anyway, that's the story for that. So if you're uh... so anyway, today we'll be uh, doing. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that three parter of the uh, lesser known uh, hair bands. There will be more hair metal. Don't worry. Uh, and again, thank you for the extra um, subscriptions. I was like, what the hell? Like, uh, I didn't know hair metal was that uh, in thing, even though I love hair metal. Don't get me wrong there. So today, it's probably going to be a little bit of a different type of episode. Not really different there, just different in props, I guess. There, It's still about hard rock and metal and all that. Uh, I'll just be talking about the autobiography books i got this idea from a reader i forget uh, sorry a reader a subscriber on my channel i forget your name i'm so, i apologize for that but thank you for that uh, suggestion uh well you said you talked about a book i said hey that's a good idea so thank you for that so i'm gonna be talking about autobiographies that i own uh, i'm not talking i'm not and i'm not gonna be talking about so you can see my collection right there of books. You can see the top row right there is all like diagonal because there's missing books. Well, it's because they're all here beside me here, uh, be ready to talk about here. So I'll be talking about the books, whether uh, they're good, bad, or just whatever there. Uh, most of them are good there. There's some of them that I'm like, I'm going to be talking a little bit more uh, than others. So this episode, I'll be strictly talking about autobiographies. Not, and I'll maybe make a part two, we'll see how this one goes here, maybe make a part two one day about books written by other people uh, that are not autobiographies, so we'll uh, we'll do that. So anyway, that's the, um, that's the gist of today's episode. I'll be just be talking about autobiographies that I own. There's some that I bought, I just haven't read yet. I'm not going to be including them in this episode, but like I said, if you write in the comments, well, what about this book? What about this book? Chances are, if they're in the hard rock or metal, um, they are, uh, they're bought. I like to, I buy a lot of books that are like about rock stars or stuff like that, just for the pleasure of unwrapping them and then putting them on the shelf. So my time is limited as to when I can read, but you know, Currently, I'm reading uh, Dave Grohl's book, but like I said, I have a specific place and time where I like to read books because I'm a little busy, hectic there. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to get into that there. So anyway, we're just going to be talking about autobiographies today. So first one, I mean, if you uh, have been living under a rock or don't own Netflix, I'm sure you've heard of this one here. It's uh, Motley Crue's The Dirt. Uh, I did like this book a lot. The movie also on Netflix was actually very decent, very good. Um, it doesn't really follow, but I mean, you know, movies try to make, you know, uh, you know, have a struggle and a climax, and then, you know, the movie I'll tell you right now doesn't really follow the um, the what actually happens in here, and boy, like. You want to hear of a band doing crazy shit? This is ridiculous. This is a, these guys were ridiculous. Like I don't even know how they're still alive there, but that was be the. But anyway, Motley Crue, The Dirt. I did like this uh, book a lot. So uh, if you did like the movie, I find the book a little bit better actually. 
So there you go. Motley Crue, The Dirt. Next up right here. Mustaine. So this is his is autobiography. He's actually a um, pretty decent book here. Talks about his childhood, uh, Metallica, obviously, Megadeth, uh, whatnot. Lots of drugs in this, even the dirt. There's lots of drug uh, mention here in this book here. Uh, decent book. Not the best book I've ever read there. You can see my cat had fun. Whatever. Still love my cat, but Jesus Christ. Anyway, Mustaine. Uh, great autobiography here. Oh, fairly decent there. Yeah, I, I did enjoy this one. It's been a while. Like I said, I buy book. I, I buy books. I read them once and then I put them on the shelf. Sometimes I forget uh stuff that happened in the book there but uh maybe one day i'll reread them there but uh not right now i have no time so there you go okay this one here i did enjoy this one sammy hagar red uh talks about his uh time in uh, montrose obviously his childhood montrose uh, his solo career van halen uh, when he got abducted by aliens I'm not kidding, this is in this book here. But yeah, good read here. I do like Sammy a lot. He's one of my uh, favorite uh, singers here. So, um, actually, my this is the only guy that is in my bucket list that I need a picture with. I have all my top five bands. He's the only one that's missing here. So, uh, let's, get the, let's make this happen, Sammy. I did go to Cabo Wabo... Uh, bar in Las Vegas and asked a waitress, you know, does Sammy ever come here? And he goes, he was just here last week. I'm like, fuck! I was so upset. I was like, but whatever. Sammy Hagar read good book here. This one here, yeah. So, <laughs> this is actually one of the first ones that I ever started buying here. Alice Cooper, Golf Monster. It's a book... So it's half autobiography, half golf lessons. So one chapter is an autobiography part. Another chapter is about golf. And I enjoyed this book so much, he got me liking golf for a good week or two at least. <laughs> so Maybe more there, I don't know there. But uh, yeah, it's uh, some good stuff there. That Most of the stuff, autobi to be honest, the golf part is actually a little bit better because... The autobiography part, I kind of knew most of the stuff, mind you. How not to get drafted in uh, for a war is a classic uh, scene in uh, this book. I'm not going to spill the beans there, but uh, that's actually pretty decent here. So, Anyway, Alice Cooper, Golf Monster. Good one. All right, this one here. I like this guy. I don't love him. D. Snyder, this book I find is a, I find this guy complains a lot. I find he complains on social media a lot too. Like it's, every time you see a post about D. Snyder, it's like, bah, what is he whining about this time? Again, good part, good read about, you know, early days of Twisted Sister, uh, Desperado, uh, Widowmaker and stuff like that there. There's some good stuff in here. But dude, stop complaining. You've had a good life. I know there's been ups and downs. Trust me. I, you'll read this book. You'll be like, oh my god, like this. After Twisted Sister, like he had hit rock bottom at one time. There, I'm not gonna spill the beans as to what happens, but uh, it involves complaining. So anyway, good book. Just tone it down with the whining there, D. So anyway, D. Snyder, shut up and give me the mic. There you go. All right, this one here. Vince Neil, Tattoos and Tequila, which also coincided with the release of his CD at the same time, which was called Tattoos and Tequila, which is a covers album with one original song called uh, Tattoos and Tequila. So, um, good book, not as good as The Dirt. Uh, what did make me laugh, though, is how he takes care of his voice. Before going into the studio, I'm going, dude, your voice is not that great to begin with there. It's very recognizable. Ladies loved him at the time. But 
talent wise his voice is a little whiny at time there but uh, I mean I like Vince Neil don't get me wrong I'm not bashing Vince Neil there but uh, we all know how his voice uh, looks or sounds like now there it's pretty uh, whatever this was a good read uh, just that part where uh, he tells us how he takes care of his voice I was just like I'm you know, rolling my eyes here so anyway good read all right, these uh, next ones will be a four. Foursome here. So I'm talking about Paul Stanley, Ace Freely, Gene Simmons, and Peter Chris. They are all good books in their own right. My problem with these four books. There we go. It's hard to. Is my problem with these four books is none of these none of their stories are the same. So which one are you supposed to believe? That's uh, and I was like, Ugh. I mean, as interesting. Paul's book is interesting. You know, there's some good stuff in here. I'll give him that. I enjoyed this book a lot. Ace Frilly's got some good stories to say here. So this, there's some good ones here. Peter Chris, like D. Snyder, it's all complaining. Good book, but it's complaint after complaint. I'm just like, buddy, like, okay, enough there. But it's like a one wine fest after another. But anyway, still a good book. Gene Simmons. I don't even remember if this book was good or bad, to be honest there. I don't find he's a good writer. Gene Simmons, you've done some great stuff in your life. You're still my hero. But, and I've got so many books. You just you can't write. You're not a good writer. Sorry. A novel writer. Not songwriter. I didn't say that. But anyway. But again, my problem with all the four Kiss ones, they're good. They're good books. Great books, actually. But it's like four. You're, you're, you're hearing four different stories. And none of them are matching. So who, who am I supposed to believe? I don't know. Anyway. Next up. That's like my Kiss ones. Great books. There's so many more. Maybe next episode we'll discuss the other books there. But uh, it's not any better. Next one here. Give Me an R by um, Brian Vollmer. I actually got this signed by uh, Brian Vollmer. I bought this at one of his shows. This is actually a pretty decent book here. It shows the ups and downs of the rock and roll lifestyle. One day you're big, the next day you're just scrambling to get food in, on the table. And this is actually after their heyday. Like, but yeah, great, great book here. I did enjoy this one here. A great detailed story about um, Helix and how they came about. And what uh, they're up to. Again, the, when was this book? published here I forget what year but anyway up to that point what they were doing up to that point i like helix a lot it was actually a great read plus he signed it for me and talked to me about uh anyway he remembered me for for this so yeah brian volmer great book here okay this one here bruce dickinson what does this button do an autobiography of all the autobiographies that I've read, this is probably my least favorite. It's not what I was expecting, I guess. It's not a bad book. Maybe it's too well written that I'm too dumb to understand it. I don't know there. it's Of all the other books, this one is written... I, don't, I really don't know how to explain it. It's not a bad book. That's not what I'm saying. It's just like... You're reading this, I'm like, okay, there's some, there's parts missing, and he tells you why in, inside of his book there, but I don't know, I, I kind of, he was talking about lots of stuff that I was not interested in, and a lot of the stuff that I wanted to hear about wasn't in this book, but also I find that this book was written for your not your average reader, but someone who's got a lot smarter than me. I'm not saying that I'm dumb, but uh, I just thought of like, 
Am I supposed to have a doctorate to be able to read this book here? Anyway, decent book, but I was a little bit disappointed when I uh, when I uh, when I read it there. I know my sister gave it to me for Christmas because I asked for it. Thanks, Nat. Just <laughs> sorry, <laughs> the book didn't do much for me there. So anyway, there you go, Bruce Dickinson. Got a little uh, sip here. We know what time it is. Mm-hmm. I got two more. Rat and Rat and Roll, My Life and Rock, Stephen Percy. Boy. This is a, a not, it's a little bit like the dirt. This guy has done so much sex, drugs. It's pretty much all that, that's in here. Um there's some obviously some rat stuff here. But um good book. I just don't remember it as much there because it's been a while there. Um, but it's actually, you know, it talks about his three or four times he's left and come back to rat and whatnot there. So uh, a good, um, a good little uh, story about uh, his life and the life of rat. So it's another good one here. I do have also Bobby Blotzer's book, but I mean, most people will probably know Stephen Percy uh, as rat. So... And last one right here, I did enjoy this one a lot, which was uh, one of my favorite bass players, which was which is um, Snakes, Guillotines, and Electric Chairs, Dennis Dunaway, the bass player from uh, Alice Cooper. Uh, another take on Alice Cooper's, uh, but from another point of view. But again, the stories do match up. So, um, actually, I did enjoy this one a lot. So, if you want... Like I said, these books... They're all pretty good. Like, there's some way better than others. But, um, yeah, I would give this one a um, a good uh, a good reading here. So, check this out. Anyway, that's, I guess, part one of autobiographies, if this goes well. If you guys are interested in this, maybe I'll do a part two. But, I mean, next episode will be about music there. I'll skip, uh, I'll skip a beat here. But, yeah. Check those uh, autobiographies out. And uh, next up, I guess I'll try other books. I have a, a lot of other books, enough for another episode here. But different take on uh, those books here. So on that note, I'd like to thank you again for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Tell your friends. And we will see you next episode. Cheers.